what caused earth's first mass extinction the ordovician mass extinction that occurred about 445 million years ago killed about 85% of all species before the cretaceous mass extinction known for wiping out non avian dinosaurs the earth had witnessed four other great mass extinctions a paper published last week in the journal nature geoscience has come up with a new reason behind the first mass extinction also known as late ordovician mass extinction the article notes that the cooling climate likely changed the ocean circulation pattern this caused a disruption in the flow of oxygen rich water from the shallow seas to deeper oceans leading to mass extinction of marine creatures if you had gone snorkeling in an ordovician sea you would have seen some familiar groups like calms and snails and spawns but also many other groups that are known very reduced in diversity or entirely extinct like trilobites branchiopods and crinoids said one of the author Seth Finnegan in a release he is from the department of integrative biology university of california berkeley the ordovician mass extinction that occurred about 445 million years ago killed about 85% of all species the other big extinction events were the denovian mass extinction about 375 million years ago wiped out about 75% of the world species the permian mass extinction 250 million years ago also known as the great dying caused the extinction of about 95% of all species the triassic mass extinction 200 million years ago eliminated about 80% of earth species including some dinosaurs some researchers have pointed out that we are currently experiencing a sixth mass extinction as the result of human induced climate change there have been several theories behind each mass extinction and with advances in new technology researchers have been uncovering more intricate details about these events for de- for decades the prevailing school of thought in our field is that global warming causes the oceans to lose oxygen and thus the impact marine habituality potentially destabilizing the entire ecosystem jun li lu one of the lead author said in a recent years mounting evidence points to several episodes in the earth's history when oxygen levels also dropped in cooling climates the author added lu is a professor of earth and environmental sciences at cyrus university usa the team measured iodine concentration in rocks from that period to understand the changes in oceanic oxygen levels computer modeling simulation suggested that climate cooling was likely responsible for the late ordovician mass extinction they also noticed a lack of oxygen or anoxia in deep oceans during the period upper ocean oxygenation in response to cooling was anticipated because atmospheric oxygen preferentially dissolves in cold water however we were surprised to see expanded anoxia in the lower ocean since anoxia in earth's history is generally associated with volcanism induced global warming said the first author alexander pohl from the department of earth and planetary sciences the university of california in a release their models that used data on the ordovician climate and marine biochemical cycles during that period showed sea floor and upper ocean oxygenation in response to ongoing global cooling this deep sea anoxia affected ocean circulation paul says that a key point to keep in mind is that ocean circulation is a very important component of the climate system the paper concludes that climate cooling may have led to changes in nutrient cycle in primary producer communities which ultimately drove the late ordovician mass extinction thank you